Roblox has been getting into some drama of his own with Super Mega, it seems, over the last few days, which is here to cover that. So he's been making vaguely negative comments about Super Mega around the drama, uh, such as this one here. Imagine unironically saying that your magnum opus in life is a Let's Play YouTube channel called Super Mega. This is a guy who reads tweets for a living, and you'll see people pointing out this in, a, in the comments here. We've got Turkey Thomas saying, what's your magnum opus? Obviously being like, you know, what, what's your problem? Why are you saying this? You're not the person to say this. Uh, Lyrics here criticizing him and being like, honorically, oh, do, do you support them? Do you support Lex here? But uh, I think we'll mainly just we'll get into the video that he's released on this situation because uh, that's the meat of the content here. And then maybe we'll look at some more of the tweets afterwards. Basically, I don't know if you guys remember from uh, from the super mega response, but uh, Matt in his video specifically showed Bo Black's uh, super mega versus Twitter thumbnail and was was like. Oh, there's people, you know, trying to capitalize on this and biased people coming in that are trying to support Lex over or well, support Leighton. More so was his point. Trying to join the dog pile, basically, which is absolutely true. Bo Lex was sort of like, you know, signaling that he was part of the dog, bog, uh, part of the dog pile here. Uh, in fact, I will just show this one first. So Chud tweeted, currently causing a mental health crisis on the Super Mega subreddit. Bo Black replies, that title and thumbnail is so nuclear. The Let's Play fans are going to hate you for life now, lol. So this is like constant. He was like constantly refusing to like make any real statement, but always sort of slightly edging towards the anti-Super Mega side. <clears throat> so I, I called him out a bit here. Someone sent me this uh, screenshot in the Discord where it says, uh, it's on Bobak's private account here, where he says, Why did Lex stay with Dom for six months after she was sexually assaulted by him? The assault happened in November 2021 and she dumped him in May 2022. I'm not saying it didn't happen. I'm just confused on why she stayed with him for so long after this happened. I said, Must be insane to see someone with a backbone when you virtue signal on main while only growing the balls to question it on your private. Peak audience capture. Which it, it absolutely is. And he basically says as much here. So Roblox says, Yeah, I was trying to ask a legit question, but said it on private to not upset anyone. I got some good answers explaining how some people feel too scared to leave relationships after sexual assault. So this is a Discord relationship with a guy on the other side of the world, by the way. She's in America, he's in Germany, and she's she's scared to leave. This seems insane, especially given that he, he had never signaled that he was going to do anything vindictive or leak anything or anything like that. And in the end, she's the one who started leaking shit. So it, it's just a crazy, crazy statement to make. So I said, You're so transparently terrified of what people think of you for having the slightest amount of skepticism towards outrageous, unsubstantiated claims. It is sickening. You should stick to reading tweets and spazzing about Sonic, and stop pretending you have any real opinions. Bobak says, Yeah, I'm under a microscope all the time and don't want to add unnecessary stress to my life, so I'm careful about what I say and where I say it. You caught me. If you don't want to hear my opinions, stop paying attention to me. So this is like getting kicked and crawling up into the fetal position, just like, please stop hitting me, stop hitting me, please. It's like the gay shit going. <clears throat> like, you're a commentary YouTuber, bro. Stake out a fucking position once in a while. Stop being such a two like both sides little bitch. It's so rancid, man. It, it's honestly disgusting to look at. <clears throat> and so I say, how about instead I just shit talk you for being such a spineless, unintelligent loser? He says, go nuts. I'm gonna just mute your ass, lol. I said, declare I'm mute, ninja. They say in an airport. <clears throat> I think it's on this tweet. We have uh, a <laughs> Jake Eve here saying, stop paying attention to me. And then putting this picture of Bo Blacks. Uh, I don't know if there are any other replies that were kind of funny. Oh yeah, I said, uh, Terrified to leave a Discord relationship with a guy on the other side of the world after eight months. Give me a fucking break on foul. Only a mental child like you would pretend to believe such insane shit. Um, nah, MVM, you lost it. You're on some nonce shit. I don't know what this guy is fucking on about. I am on some nonce shit sometimes, but not, not in these tweets. So anyway, that, that's sort of like the lead up to this video. That is an actual picture of Bo Blacks, correct? That, that is an actual picture of Bo Blacks. Um, so, so we'll just move on to the video here, I think. This is what we're mainly here to cover, and then we'll look at some more of, the, uh, some more of his tweeting about it. And, uh, and then we'll probably wrap up this segment. So let's just have a look. What, what do you have to say here? So this is on his, um, this isn't on his Twitter versus account, which is like his most popular one, I think. This is on... Uh, Bo Black's 
uh, his, his like personal channel, and he said, I think I have a tweet here. Made my new video in about 30 minutes just to low-key vent. I hope it wasn't a bad idea to do that. So he's like having a mental breakdown over this. I don't know quite what's going on with Bowlax right now. It might be weed paranoia. It might just be his autism flailing. No idea, but, but we'll take a look at what he's got to say for himself. <clears throat> so Matt and Ryan from Super Mega made their response videos to the allegations made by Lex on Twitter that I showed off a couple days ago. I found this out on Twitter when someone replied to one of my tweets saying that I was too stupid to wait before making a video, which I found was odd, but regardless... I mean, that's kind of true. He released like a Twitter versus video as if that was like uh, the comprehensive coverage of the drama. Uh, however, it obviously wasn't because there was no response from them. He was also making statements saying how serious the allegations are and how you know we we should all be taking this super seriously without doing any analysis himself. So, yeah, this 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 guy's just just kind of right. I did find out about the responses from this tweet, so I then went to watch. Ryan's yeah, Goku's Goku's balls was the name of that Twitter user. So, uh, <laughs> looking good, looking good. When Goku's balls is on your case and then I watched like the first eight minutes of Matt's response and I felt that they were really well made so I made this tweet about it and then I quickly so I had this tweet pulled up we didn't cover it just then but we'll read it now the super mega response videos are a great example of how to address situations like this showing all the posts from Lex and giving the audience full context not shying away from important points made admitting fault and apologizing but also giving more context <clears throat> so this this sort of like tweet, it's like he's saying that the thing is that they didn't just give more context. They basically, they torpedoed like a lot of the allegations against them, especially Layton's ones, and sort of gave you everything you needed to discredit Lex's motivations for making her allegations uh, without actually, you know, seeming like they're being uh, rape apologists or something. <laughs> uh, so Bobex makes this tweet. He follows it up when he learns that they shit-talked him by being like, Never mind, I should watch the full videos before tweeting. Yeah, obviously, first of all, you absolutely should, you fucking idiot. And second of all, what are you implying? Like, that the whole video is, is now fucked because they shit-talked you personally in the video? Like, it's just such a dipshit biased way of looking at it. Like, he's literally personally hurt by the fact that these YouTubers said, Oh, this retard Boblax is joining the pylon. Like, he's clearly very upset by this. We found out that maybe I was a little premature on my praise of Ryan's response in particular, as he took a shot at me. So Ryan's response in particular, and then literally in the screenshot he shows, it says, my response, Matt. <laughs> nice one, Bobax. He's like, I don't understand how this guy is so fucking stupid. It really is just insane to me, but whatever. In the video, and now so here's it makes sense why Goku Balls said what he said. Anyways, here's what Ryan said about me. A lot of people, mainly Leighton and his close friends, have used this as an opportunity to capitalize off of what was initially someone's story of sexual assault. It seems like the story lost its plot and quickly devolved into a dogpile on me and Ryan when I don't think we necessarily worthy focus to begin with um because i mean this is just true right this is just true it was about an assault so i have so many things to say uh obviously he didn't name me directly or talk specifically only about me he just showed me as one of three videos of people dogpiling on super mega when this whole story is about lex and dawn with super mega being still pretty involved the main tweet calling this out had matt and ryan of super mega within the first sentence of the tweet and the notes app image that she attached, making it well. <laughs> to tell you, this is like proof that they they were the focus. But how, when you actually look at the allegations, how were they the focus? They weren't the ones fucking sexually assaulting anyone. Like, come on now. This it's obvious what's being said here. Very clear that this is also about Super Mega as well as Dawn. So I don't really think I was like clickbaiting with my video by calling it Twitter versus Super Mega instead of Twitter versus Dawn. Like, I don't know why. Why can't you just admit that you did put Super Mega mainly in the title because it's going to get more clicks? And this, I've seen a little bit of this video, and this will be a common theme in this video. Bobax being completely unwilling to admit what is going on in the situation and why he's doing the things he's doing.
why he even brought that up and suggested that I'm only making these Twitter versus videos literally reading victims' allegations word for word. Oh, I'm reading victims' allegations word for word. I'm doing In a good thing. Two. So gross, man. He's so wretched. Consider turning the video up two times, and no, it's only a seven minute video, we can get through it. To keep it preserved to hold them accountable if they're lying, or to hold the person responsible for doing a horrible thing if the accusation is true. Like you say, I'm doing this to hold people accountable. No bro, you're doing that because you get a bunch of fucking views off of it. Just be real about it, I don't understand what this pussy shit is. It's like, it, it's so wretched. And this happened with other videos too, and I usually just take it on the chin, and maybe I shouldn't be making this video because, you know, the situation is way bigger than just me, but I think it's a symptom to a bigger problem where a lot of creators who uh, dislike me because of my coverage of them, where, by the way, there's a lot of creators who do like me despite me covering their tweets because they know that's what they say. Some people like me, some people like me. It's like, I don't want to, this is so pathetic. This is one of the most pathetic videos I've ever seen a commentary YouTuber make. But if you're going to throw shit in drama, you got to be just like, you know, a bit more brazen about it, a bit more with a backbone, act with a bit of spine. Dead and they accept that saying stuff publicly means that it's going to be talked about publicly, or at least amplified publicly. Usually I don't give Nobody's saying that it shouldn't be talked about. Nobody is saying that. My input on these things in the videos, especially with serious accusations where I, I wasn't there, I don't know the answer. I just want to share what's going on to help amplify the voices of people. Look, see, so he's doing it now. I just want to share what's going on and help amplify voices. Shut the fuck up, bro. You're doing it because it's your job. You're making money off of this. That's why you're doing it. Obviously. Obviously. What is this pussy shit? It's so crazy. People who may need it or to mostly, honestly, keep larger creators accountable of their horrible things as their peer social audience seems to. So you say it again. I'm trying to keep people accountable. This is, I'm doing a public service. I'm doing a public service, guy. Guys, it's, it, it's like... Bro, how can you be this spineless? It's so insane. Just admit you do it because it's your job. You do it because people are going to be looking into this controversy. It's a big controversy right now. And so if you put a video out about it, just summarizing what's going on, then you will get a bunch of views. To quickly forget and forgive even the most heinous things. Miskiff is a perfect example of that. But regardless, I just hate this notion. And I know I'm a drama YouTuber, so I have to live with this. Yeah, I'm sure Bobax's video on top of everyone else's videos is that's gonna be the one that tips the scales. No, dude, nobody is ever gonna. You're never gonna change parasocial fans not caring what their creator does. That is just the reality. You're never gonna change that. You're not part of that, bro. You're you're like there's not nothing you can do there. That's it. You just make your content. You try to make some money off of it. Try and convince people if you really want to, and that's it. But ultimately, all of this, this is for views. This is for money, obviously but I just hate this notion and this idea that I'm creating this content just to make money. So you know he's posting his hate comments. Example of comments I get over this. Wow, you truly are scum of the earth. Like a vaulter to a baby's corpse, you managed to make another drama video. Ding Dong was right about subhumans like you. You should just delete your channel, you sociopathic and inept man-child. <coughs> oh, fuck. Oh, God. That's a funny comment. That's a good comment. Max IFP 5PT. Absolutely, he stomped you, bro. King Dong was right. Yeah. Like, and he's like so cut up about this. Like, if you're going to show comments like this, you've got to be laughing about them. Like, the amount of times I've gotten comments over the last few days trying to tell me to kill myself or whatever the fuck. Like, bro, you got to just laugh about it. You can't show that it's affecting you like this. 100% Bobax reads all his hates comments and gets his day ruined. Absolutely, I 100% believe that. Obsessively scrolling, just looking for the, the rudest stuff he can find about himself. Going, I can't believe he would say this about me. <laughs> Such a fucking sped. I read tweets for a living. Please be nice, Uwu. Yes, yes, absolutely. ...off of trauma or make money off of victims or... Just to make money off of trauma or make money off of victims or that is literally what you're doing why not just own it why not just own it
Everyone can see that's what you're doing. Everyone knows that's what drama content is. You're always making money off of someone else's misery. That's half the fun. That's half the fun. Capitalize in a disingenuous way. Matt and Ryan say, or at least Ryan said in his response, that he doesn't really want to hurt anybody because of his selfish actions. And obviously he was just talking about the people that are immediately important to him and around him. But like, I don't know why in this response that Matt's giving, where he's apologizing for harming people and saying the wrong things and being kind of a shitty communicator, that... He would put that little jab in, like that little 30 second segment in a 40 minute video, just to- It's not a jab, he's pointing out there was a massive dog pile on social media. There was. There was. You can't deny that. Say, hey, anybody who covered this, regardless if it was neutral or not, you know, I just read the tweets word for word, uh, fuck you. And you are using our name for clout, and it really should have been about Dawn and Assault, and you don't- you are using his name for clout. That is what you were doing. Yes. That's what I was doing. Yes. Care about assault or whatever they implied. I know he didn't directly address me or say these things like super directly, but it's enough for an audience to think just from looking at that, that I'm some evil monster who wants people to get sexually assaulted every day so I can make a YouTube video on it. And that that's what I want. I'll be honest. I literally, I've the past week, while I've been dragging out this super mega coverage, every day I wake up going, please tell me there's more rape allegations on Twitter. Please tell me there is more rape allegations. Please tell me someone's come out with a rape story. That's all I want. That's all I want. Just a new rape story on the big YouTuber. Please, please, now. Please. Just, why couldn't you own that? Why couldn't you own that? Own that you love rape, Bo Blacks. Just say it. I love rape. That's all you need to say. Very simple, okay? It's really not the case. I'm actually kind of sick of covering these types of things, but I do it because I feel it is important to document and it isn't. I'm sick of doing this. I'm doing it because I know I have to. <laughs> like, bro, you're doing it because it makes you a fucking metric shit ton of money. <laughs> they just quit. Go make, go make Sonic YouTube videos. That's all you need to do, bro. Go do your little gay Sonic live streams. You can coast on that now. Surely you've made enough money unless you've really just blown it all on weed vapes. Is that really where you're at? Like, could you not just stop making the rape videos? Like, you, you, you could just stop making them. But you, you don't because it gets a fuck ton of views. You're only going to stay relevant if you keep covering situations like this. And obviously you want to stay relevant. You're a YouTuber. Whatever, man. Important to get the victim's voice out there. And I'm so grateful to have the platform. Oh. You bought a Tesla. Yes, I've heard about that. I have heard that he bought a Tesla. Seems to be a common, a common theme with uh, YouTube locales. You know, H3, Boogie, Bobax, buying Teslas. I have that you guys so graciously have given me through me covering situations like this. The least I could do is give back by helping to amplify voices who need the amplification. And then if it ends up being false, their lies being reposted permanently on my channel just keeps them accountable. So honestly, if I could just make yeah, dude, literally everyone's made videos about this. Everyone is making videos about this. All this stuff is already archived. Stop kidding yourself. Who do you? What do you think you're doing here? You're not fucking Kiwi Farms, bro. You're not the ultimate archive of all this stuff. Everyone's covering the same stuff you're covering. Content off of anything, I'd probably do the same thing as Super Mega and just make Let's Play videos. But sometimes I feel like that would be selfish of me, you know? You guys have subbed to me for- <laughs> No, no. It's not because it'd be selfish, it's because you'd get less viewership and no one would give a fuck about who you are, obviously this drama content to keep up to date on these things and i really just want to do right by you guys and right by everybody who gets abused in these horrible situations like it <laughs> i'm trying to do right by my fans i'm trying to do right by you guys i'm trying to do right try to do right by the victims no bro this is such cap how can he say about parasocial audiences not keeping their, their uh, content creators accountable and then the same time same breath Going fucking like try and exploit that connection to to try and go on the defense in the same way that any other creator would. It's so wretched. It's so wretched. This guy's such a sped. Breaks my heart to hear about what happened to Lux. Uh, it breaks my heart to hear what happened to Adriana Lee. It's why I go <laughs> so hard against Miskiff. Some people might think, you know, I'm a little. Right, this guy's such an idiot, man.
little obsessed because sometimes I just go out of my way to be like, fuck you, Miskip. But it really boils my blood that he still has oh so God. much uh, online prominence when he literally blacklisted her from social gatherings for streamers just because his friend Bro. touched her in her sleep. It, it, it's disgusting. It's so stupid, man. Is this why you were making non-stop Pokemon hit pieces a few years ago? Because you just, you really just want to hold her accountable. You just really want to hold, you just, it really boils your blood to see Pokemon. Come on, man. Well, get real, dude. Sting. I fucking hate it. It, like, makes my blood <laughs> boil. You know, yesterday, uh, I, I got invited to uh, this Linus Tech Tip store with uh, Plane Rock. It was great. Everybody there was lovely. Uh, and I, I saw Estefan, and he's the owner of Estefan. OTK, and I just, like, I don't know, like, in the moment, I, I was just, like, ignoring him. But afterwards, I just got, like, so mad again about this whole OTK thing, because I was just thinking. I saw S-Fan at this convention, and I didn't say anything when I saw him, but afterwards, my, my fists were clenching. My fists were just clenching as I walked away and, and got, I got super angry about all the rape. <laughs> Bro, this is literally being like, guys, I'm such a good person that I was completely spineless in the moment when I was confronted with someone that I thought was protecting rapists and people who covered up rape. Dude, <laughs> this guy's such a low cow about it and, uh, like i'm not gonna be weird with him like we're in a linus tech tips fucking tour i'm not gonna confront him or anything that'd be really psycho but uh, it just i'm just bringing this up because that like moment in real life reminded me uh, of the story not that i ever forgot and, and it just dude like this whole stuff with online creators getting away with the worst behavior because they have this power and over their parasocial audience this influence it's just so fucked up and i know at the end of the day maybe they're not the worst people in the world. just heard about rape guys so fucked up the world maybe they're just immature 20 year olds who never really properly grew up because they were famous in their early 20s and are like maybe stunted or something like that and that's why they make these mistakes that nobody would normally make like how ryan and matt uh, admittedly but is this the first time he's figured out about celebrity culture like chris breezy still has a career right like come on now man hmm. <laughs> i just i'm so lost as to how he feels like this is some novel thought or he's some like you know paragon of morality for suddenly figuring out that celebrities get away with murder like come on man you're such a you're an absolute joke dude uh reacted with the lex situation but uh yeah it, it like genuinely makes me sad i don't know and then to fucking do all of this right and talk about this and try and help people as much as i can uh only to just get shit on because what just but what thing can we name one thing a Bobax has ever done that was a good act that didn't simultaneously boost his career or boost the amount of money he has? I can't off the top of my head. I don't know a whole lot about Bobax, but I can't off the top of my head. I can't see him going around in private trying to sort all this stuff out. It, the thing, he's talking about like making his videos that make him money. That's what he's doing to help. Like, come on, man. Bro. Uh, apparently i'm a, attacking people or trying to capitalize off of them or, or whatever it's just i know it's expected because i'm a drama channel but it does get to me like it's it's i just don't think it's okay so yeah i just want to make this video to talk about that i just hope everybody is uh, I, i'm sorry to make the situation about me you know <laughs> uh, maybe i'll title this in a way that isn't so you know clickbaity because it's more about me than than super mega i guess but Addressing my coverage of serious situations is the title here. Bro, he's literally about to cry, yes, yes. Slight bit of heat on the internet, and he's in tears. But, uh, yeah, it's just super fucked up, and I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm super grateful for your support. Uh but, literally, in the same breath as criticizing parasociality online, he is exploiting it for defense in the exact same way any of these other content creators would do. How has he got so little self-awareness? Let's see what the comments are like. <laughs> Honestly, man, I appreciate the aggregate service you provide. Super Mega Tons taking the chance... Taking the stance that Lex's sexual assault should be the focus is rich when they didn't take the seri situation serious when it mattered. Dude, you do suck. <laughs> You kept egging on the Ding Dong drama, and when Ding Dong himself asked you to take your ass video down, you didn't. Delete your channel. Who is Ding Dong? 
Who the fuck is Ding Dong, bro? Monetized, of course. Yeah, literally, bro. This guy is so stupid. This guy sucks, man. <clears throat> so, and then he says on Twitter, Why are people buying into this strange idea that any video involving human struggle has to be made for free? It's not that it has to be made for free, it's that you should be honest about the fact that you are capitalizing on people's suffering. Because you are. You are. That is just what's going on. My videos are the, are the YouTube equivalent of a retweet. If you retweet about drama, you're the same as me. Bro. As if, like, some random user retweeting a tweet for no money is the same as posting a video that is clickbait, trying to get as many views as possible to get ad revenue. How does this make any sense? We have to apologize for our shitty behavior, but drama channels covered this, so get mad at them instead. This is him taking, like, taking a... A shot at Super Mega. <clears throat> uh, do we have anything else here? No, I don't think so. I think that was about it. So, just yeah, this is absolute low cow shit. I don't know what Bo Blacks is thinking here. He's probably not thinking, let's be honest. Total sped behavior. Quite sickening. Not a fan at all of the way Bo Blacks is handling this. But I'm not a fan of Bo Blacks in general. So, what are you going to do? He's literally spurging on main. <laughs> Bro, you don't get your lifestyle of weed and sonic porn paid by for retweeting. Paid for by retweeting. He thought this up after seething in the shower for 30 minutes. Has been wait waiting to pull it out for so long. Yep, absolutely 100%. Diorio is such a chud simp. Diorio is a uh, proud member of Chud Nation, I believe. You know, I mean, he's, uh, he's, part of, he's part of the Toothgate campaign now as well. So... Very big stuff. Very big. Huge, even. Colossal stuff. Mm. I don't know if uh, there's anything else for me to say about this. Just Bo Blacks is absolutely spurring about this. I wish he would just be honest about what drama farming is, what, what you benefit from here, what the game is, because this is just a gross way to respond to something like this. But, yeah. I think I'll end the video here, guys. Like, sub, and donate. Thank you very much.